Hi all. In this video, let's look into JavaScript interview questions, part eight. So regarding arguments object, wrapper object, and why type of null will return object. So let's see one by one. So firstly, we'll learn what is an arguments object. So argument object is like array like object. So which you can access inside the function. So it will be like a local variable to this function. Okay. This will work. This arguments object will work only inside the function. If you try to access that inside the arrow function like this, so you'll be getting an error like this on code reference error. Arguments is not a defined. So this arguments only works inside the function, not inside the arrow function. So this is the first point. So the second point is this argument object will have two properties. Number one is the number one is the length property. The second one is the callee. It means it will give the reference of the function which is trying to call this, which is trying to execute this function. So these are the two properties will be there for the arguments object. So if you understand, this is an array like object. So it has only length property as it is an array like object, but it will not have all the array properties like uh, you can't use for each or map all this method you can't use only you can use is the length property. OK, so whereas this callee will return the currently executing function, its reference. So in the strict mode, this callee will return forbidden. You can't get this callee value in the strict mode. Fine. So let's see one one by one example. If I'm trying to call this test function with the test like this, so the now the arguments are zero. You're not passing any arguments. So that's the reason you'll be getting the length as zero. If you're passing one, one it means you're passing, if, you, if you're passing only one value, you'll be getting only one arguments length. So like that, how many arguments you'll be sending, its length would be given like that. If you want to access those values, you need to do like this. So you need to try with arguments of zero, arguments of one. In that way, you can access each and every value in the arguments. Arguments zero means one, arguments one means two, arguments three means, arguments two means three. So like that, you can access one each, each argument with this index. So this is how the argument object works. So there are few other points which we need to discuss. These arguments values can be modified. So for example, here you are calling a function and you are not passing any argument. So even though in this function you have used arguments of zero, it means you are muting the objects array and you are keeping 100 as a value. So that's the reason if you click, if you're trying to print the arguments of zero, the first argument value here, you will be getting 100. It means you can also mute the arguments value. So that's the example here and you are passing one here. Even if you pass one, the arguments of zero will be consists of one, but you're again muting its value to 100. You are again assigning to 100. So that's the reason here also you'll be getting 100. So now you'll see the last example of arguments objects. That is when you update the arguments, then it will also update the parameter value. If you update the parameter value, it will update the arguments value. It is like vice versa. So let's see that, that with an example here. So let me uncomment this. So for example, if I call a test function with one and two as the arguments. So in the A, you'll be having one. So let me write here. In the A, you'll be having one. And in the B, you'll be having two. So this is what the arguments we have passed. So now, we are modifying the arguments inside this function. In sense, the first argument is modified to 100. It means this will impact the A value as well. So now A will become 100. Because we have a thumb rule like if you update the argument, now I'm updating the argument. So that's the reason this parameter A value also will be updated. So that's the reason if you console here, value of A and value of argument, you'll be getting 100, 100 because you have muted the argument value that will impact the parameter value as well. So in the next example, now here 
you are modifying the parameter value the b value is 2 now you are modifying b value as 0 because of this the arguments of 1 also become 0 so that is what if you update the argument the parameter value will modify if you update the parameter value the argument value will modify that you can see with this example so this is also one main point we need to understand in the regarding the arguments object so fine so coming to the second point that is wrapper objects so in the object oriented programming we may learn that object consists of object can have properties and methods so that is what we have learned in the object oriented programming like this is an object it can consist of properties and also it can consist of methods so here a is a property and b is a method so in an object we can have properties and methods so this is what we have learned in the object oriented programming coming to what is uh, what are these wrapper objects let's see that so you have a string like this so string in the javascript string number and booleans these are primitive types in sense these are just variables to hold the values those are not objects in sense string is not an object in sense this string is only a primitive type it can only hold some value it can't have properties and methods because it is not an object but if you understand here this is a string in this string this string is happily using the length property this is not an object but even though it is using the length property this is an object this is not an object string is not an object but even though it is accessing the index of method string is a primitive type it's not an object but even though it is accessing length property and index of substring methods as well this is because javascript internally will wrap this will wrap this string and it will give it as an object back so on that object we are using this properties so this is implicit wrapping so that is what happens so once the javascript engine uses this wrapper object it will not it will never use it again directly it will give back to the garbage collector in sense once you are using a wrapper object it is like a single time use you can't use it multiple times okay so whenever you are using like this under the hood javascript is going to create a wrapper okay and it will wrap this primitive type value and it will dispose us it will give back us the object so that's the reason we are trying we could able to access the properties and methods on this primitive value under the hood it was converted as a implicit wrapper object so this is about wrapper object so if you try to access so if you try to add properties to this string new properties or new methods will be getting errors how to do this how to add our own properties or methods in sense we need to declare the explicit wrapper object like this so then if I, now i am creating an explicit wrapper object not an implicit it is an explicitly i am creating a wrapper object so that's the reason here i have created an explicit wrapper object it was instantiated so that's the reason you can add your own property and own method as well this is how you can do this is this is how you can do an explicit wrapper object instantiated so you need to understand each primitive type will have the counterpart type as well so for example you have a string this is a primitive type you'll be having the counterpart type of wrapper object that is capital string so s this is a capital string wrapper object so like in the same way the numbers and the booleans also you'll be having its own counterpart type that is a wrapper object number and boolean so this is all about a wrapper object so coming to the third point whenever you do a type of null it will return an object why so usually uh, let's see this uh, with an example like this so if you do a type of like uh, some string okay abc what you'll be getting a string okay if you do type of some number one so you'll be getting a number so these are primitive types whereas type of null is also a primitive type in the javascript null is also considered as a primitive type 
but if you do type of null it is going to return us an object so why it is returning an object ideally it should return type of null means it should return like empty null like this this is what we'll be expecting but it will return an object the reason behind this is so let's discuss that uh, in detail uh, step by step like uh, in the earlier stages okay the javascript any value it, it would be like 32 bits that value will be given as 32 bits okay and the javascript values are represented in terms of type tag and the value type tag means what type of value it is and value is the value what we are storing in that variable so these two will be there for every javascript value type tag means what type of value value is a value which we store this two will sh should be stored in 32 bit the first three bits will be using for the type tag and the remaining bits will be using for the value okay ideally we have this five type only we have this five types of type tags in the initial stages so now the type tags are five so now if you give all the three zeros as a type tag for the first three bits so it that value is considered as an object so if it is given as 0 1 0 it is considered as boolean if it is given uh, double if it, you give as one double zero it is considered as string so these are the five type tags we have okay on this basis the null value will not go anywhere but usually null value was represented like this in most of the platforms that's the reason it went into the object place consequently the null has given the type tag as zero so that's the reason when you type a type of null it gives a object so this is the main reason behind this why we uh, get the type of null as object there are only five type tags there is no type tag for the null as the type null was represented like this in most of the platforms they have considered this null to to use this type tag that's the reason when you type type of null we are getting app object as a written value so there are many proposals kept to modify the type of null value to null instead type of null value to object but all these proposals were rejected because if we modify this there would be getting an n number of bugs so there would be a lot of bugs to be accomplished so that's the reason whenever there is a proposal to modify this type of null to null then they have uh, rejected these proposals so it is considered as an open bug now so this is about type of null returns object the reason behind this is this hope you understand this all uh, points uh, thanks for watching please subscribe for more video